in this video we'll try to understand one more example in IC engine so the problem statement for the same is given over here so suppose we are having a test on two stroke heavy oil engine and the following observations were made oil consumption is given as 4.05 kg per hour cylinder diameter is 0.2 meter calorific value of oil is 43,000 kilojoule per kg net brake load is 579 Newton net brake diameter is 1 meter then indicated mean effective pressure is 275 kilopascal or kilonewton per meter square stroke length is 0.25 meter speed in rps is given so it is 6 rps and we have to calculate mechanical efficiency integrated thermal efficiency brake thermal efficiency and the quantity of cooling water required per minute if 30 percent of energy supplied by the fuel is absorbed by this particular water the permissible rise in temperature of water is given as 25 degree centigrade now here we have used the samsung galaxy tab to record or to find out the solution or to write down the solution of this particular problem hope that you will like that particular idea so let us start with our example the solution part of our example so let us first write down the data which is used over here so engine is given as two stroke oil engine then mass of fuel is given as 4.05 kg per hour so divided by 3600 so it will be in kg per second so mass of fuel that we have calculated will be 1.126 into 10 raised to minus 3 kg per second now the next data that is there is the cylinder diameter which will be given to us that will be equal to 0 0.2 meter then calorific value is 43,000 kilojoule per kg brake drum load correct brake load that is acting is 579 Newton and diameter of the brake drum is 1 meter therefore radius of the brake drum will be diameter of 1 to that is 0 0.5 meter then indicated mean effective pressure is given as 275 kilonewton per meter square stroke length is given as 0 0.25 meter then speed in rps is given as 6 rps so revolutions per second directly it is given in this particular example now we have to find out the mechanical efficiency now to calculate the mechanical efficiency first we will calculate the indicated power so that is x into imep that is indicated mean effective pressure into area into length now x is the number of cylinders that we have already seen then indicated mean effective pressure is in kilonewton per meter square area of the piston or cylinder bore is in meter square stroke length is in meter and number of working strokes are per second that is one upon second so here first we'll calculate we'll cancel out this meter square so the remaining part will be kilonewton meter per second so kilonewton meter per second then newton meter is nothing but joule so this will be this can be written as kilojoule per second and joule per second is watt so this will be in kilowatt so our indicated power is in kilowatt so now for two stroke engine number of working strokes small n will be equal to n because so n is equal to 6 rps that we have already seen so number of working strokes will be 6 per second so in case of the two stroke engine for every revolution of the crankshaft there is one power stroke so then area we can easily calculate as pi by 4 d square so substitute all these values so number of cylinders they are not given so in place of x will write down 1 indicated mean effective pressure is 275 then area is pi by 4 d square so pi by 4 0 0.2 square then stroke length is given as 0 0.25 and number of working strokes they are 6 so you can calculate the value of indicated power so if you make the calculation then that value comes out to be so indicated power that we'll get over here so it will be 12.959 kilowatt now the next step is we have to find out the brake power so as the speed is given in rps and torque is in torque we have to calculate in newton meter so we can use this particular formula so 
the n it is in revolutions per second so that we are mentioning over here so it is revolutions per second now torque is in newton meter so divided by 1000 so it will be in kilo newton meter so this will be kilo newton meter so using these two units we can say that the unit for this particular will be revolution per second that is for n and kilo newton per meter kilo newton meter for torque so this is nothing but kilo newton meter per second that is kilo joule per second or you can say that it is kilo watt so this will be in kilo watt kilo joule per second or kilo watt so this we already have seen over here now so we can say that brake power is in kilowatt so we have to substitute the values we have to calculate the brake power so 2 pi n is 6 and torque is force into radius or load into radius so w into r divided by 1000 so substitute all these particular values over here so w that is the brake drum load that is given as 579 radius is 0 0.5 that we have already calculated in our data part divided by 1000 so that will give us the value of brake power in kilowatt so the value of brake power that we'll get over here will be 10.913 kilowatt so the ratio of brake power to the indicated power is nothing but what it is the mechanical efficiency so mechanical efficiency we can easily calculate by using these two values so mechanical efficiency is brake power divided by indicated power multiplied by 100 so brake power is nothing but 10.913 indicated power that we have already calculated as 12.9 nine five nine multiplied by hundred so you'll get the value of mechanical efficiency as 84.218 percentage the next step will be we have to find out the value of indicated thermal efficiency that is nothing but indicated power divided by heat supplied multiplied by hundred so indicated power is in kilowatt now mass of fuel that we have to take into consideration will be in kg per second and calorific value of fuel will be in kilojoule per kg so that this kg kg will get cancelled out over here so kilojoule per second is nothing but kilowatt so this particular term is nothing but it is in kilowatt so the units are balanced in the numerator as well as in the denominator so indicated power just substitute the value of indicated power over here so on the right hand side indicated power that we have obtained is 12.959 divided by mass of fuel already we have calculated in kg per second so 1.125 into 10 raised to minus 3 and calorific value of the fuel that is given in the example as 43,000 multiplied by 100 so you will get the indicated thermal efficiency in this particular case so if you make the calculation it will be 26.79 percentage the next step is we have to calculate the value of brake thermal efficiency so brake thermal efficiency is brake power divided by mass of fuel into calorific value of fuel so just substitute these values so mass of fuel is 1.125 into 10 raised to minus 3 and calorific value is 43000 into 100 so we'll get the value of brake thermal efficiency as 22.55 percentage now we have to calculate the mass of cooling water that is circulated so total heat supplied will be equal to mass of fuel into calorific value of fuel so it is mf into cv so mass of fuel is in kg per second already we have seen and calorific value is in kilojoule per kg so kg kg will get cancelled so we will have the unit of total heat supplied as kilojoule per second now out of this particular total heat supplied 30 percent of the heat is carried away by the cooling water so mass of fuel is 1.125 into 10 raised to minus 3 into 43,000. so total heat supplied will be 48.375 kilojoule per second we'll convert this value in minute because it is required the value of cooling water is required in kg per minute so 
convert this value in minute so this will be equal to 29 0 2.5 kilojoule per minute now now the heat carried away by cooling water is 30 percent of the total heat that is supplied so this will be 30 percent of the total heat supplied that is 30 divided by 100 into 2902.5 so that value comes out to be 870.75 kilojoule per minute and now we have to use the formula so now we know this particular value so heat supplied or heat carried away by cooling water is also equal to mass of water into cp of water into rising temperature of the water when it is circulated around the jacket of the cylinder so heat carried away by the cooling water it is 870.75 mass of water we have to find out cp of water we can assume as 4.5 186 kilojoule per kg kelvin and rising temperature of the cooling water is given in the last step as 25 degree centigrade so from this we can find out the value of mass of cooling water that is circulated and that value comes out to be 8.32 kg per minute so in this way we can solve the example on ice engine thank you very much for watching